Hey everybody, it's Moog here from Mighty Car Mods, the world's best four-wheel driving channel. You may have seen our feature films, Key to the Sea or Key to the Mountain, where we've been taking our little nuggets on some epic adventures. We do have a couple of friends that come with us to help carry camera gear, drone stuff, extra supplies, and pull us out if we get in trouble. So we've got a little Zook here that's owned by our mate Isaac, and we've got a Hilux that's owned by our mate Benny. So I thought we'd do a quick rig rundown, a little walk around of each of these cars, introduce you to the owners, and also just have a look around at some of the mad modifications that they've done to their car. We will start with the Hilux. Everybody, this is our mate Benny. How you doing, Benny? Not too bad, mate. Thank you very much for coming with us nah, on all of our trips bro. and saving our asses multiple times. That's why I'm here. Uh, a newer rig of yours. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is and what modifications have been done to it? Sure. This is a 2006 N70 Hilux with plenty of mods, as you can see. I love your tent. Clamshell, <laughs> huge. Clamshell, yep. That's, that's comfort. You know, you can look down at all the swags and go, ha. Huh. Yes, <laughs> you're in the mud and I'm not. That's exactly right, yeah. <laughs> I'm high and dry and you're soaked. So yeah, I've also got the uh, onboard water. So 100 litre onboard water tank. Yep. Diff breathers on top. Yep. Uh, what else is there? Two inch lift, 33 inch tyres. Awesome, the BF Goodrich all terrains. Yeah. How do you find like all terrains compared to like a muddy tyre or more I'd like an SUV tyre? Much prefer the all terrain. I've had the muds on some other cars when yeah, yeah. on road. Hopeless. I don't know if you remember when I had the muddies on my um, on my Suzuki, and when we're on the sand, I just couldn't air down enough because the car was light. I just couldn't get because yeah, the sidewall, sidewall was so thick, strong on yeah, them. Yeah. So definitely, like an all-terrain is yeah, the way to go. Yeah, I think. much better. Yeah, you got the onboard air compressor. Oh, cool! So you can air up and down air just directly from the car. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. So awesome. What's in here, mate? Ah, not not a lot at the moment. Rubbish mainly. Yep. Yeah, okay. But but it's got my slide-out kitchen. Yep. My second battery. Oh, you got a hot tap. The hot water system. Oh, that's dude, that's awesome. Is that plumbed into your onboard water or have you got to like plumb it in like as you use it? I've got the, the tap here, so I just plug it up to, where is it? There it is. Yeah. Oh man, that's great. So I just hook it all up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, then got the max tracks, which are important. Yep. And then, so this is a sliding kitchen, that's high. Like, yeah, a little, little bit too high. I'm going to eventually redo it to a kitchen that comes out and then slides sort of down to about there. Yeah, okay. I reckon a much better a height. Awesome. Now, I notice on the front you've got a couple of modifications. So you've got these big bad boys that are uh, yes. expensive and good for towing and stuff, right? Yeah, covered in spider webs, but yeah. And then you've got your bull bar and then you've got your, like, your... Like these, are, can you flip that one quickly so we can uh, see them? Because can. these here are... They're you, just great. They're just they're just so colourful and so fun, one, man. One really to cool. always be inclusive. Yes. Oh, they're great. Look at that. It's just a whole lot of fun, I think. And so you've got a winch on here as well. Any mods up under the bonnet? Uh, under the bonnet, I've got a Legend X inner cooler. Yep. I've got the twin battery, obviously, for the solar. Yep. The water diesel separator. And apart from that... Oh, and the airbox into the snorkel. Yeah, into your snorkel as well. Which is... um. Surprisingly a big job, like I don't know if you saw when we did that on our Hilux, it's like, it's a day, like there's a lot of cutting, a lot of measuring, yeah, a lot of kind of modifying, so it's, it's not yeah. fun, it's not yeah. a fun day, you know. Not a great job, well man, it looks awesome, you got your light bar up there as well. Light bar, yeah. Um, that looks like an excellent and super capable piece of kit, man. Well, and it's exactly the same as our Hilux, so you got good taste. Well, yeah, well look, someone's got to come in and rescue when the Hilux gets stuck. <laughs> <laughs> what would be, do you reckon you're like, Three most important modifications. If you've got a Hilux that's completely stock, done nothing, you just want to do a little bit of weekend bashing, what do you think I, are like the two or three most important ones? I reckon good set of tyres. Yep. A fairly yeah, decent lift. Well, when I say decent lift, suspension. Yep. Then the winch bull bar by yeah, far okay. and away, yeah. Well, let's have a look over um, at the Sierra now. Everybody, this is Isaac. No doubt you would have seen him on our show in the past. He's a very, very clever guy. He helped us with the moon buggy. He builds guitars. He's a luthier by trade, a very, very clever, talented guy, and an absolutely lovely fella to be sharing a tent with on a cold and stormy night in a, like just a, a Sydney summer. Thanks, mate. I didn't think we were going to talk about that. <laughs> but hey, why we're here, mate. Um, but we're also knows heaps about Suzuki Jimny's. This is a Sierra, but you helped me with mine. I did. Um, Tell me about this. It makes some awesome zut zut dot dot noises. It does. Tell me everything. Mate, honestly, this is the best budget filled like four-wheel drive you could buy ever. I yeah. think this is, seriously, anyone can get into one of these and they're cheap. And I've done everything at home on the most, like, thinnest budget building this car and I've had so much fun. So tell us everything. What have you right. done to it's it? It's a standard 330,000 kilometre old engine, single cam engine, caked up with everything you can think of. And I put a turbo on it. Yeah. So I ditched the carburetor, did a Haltech. Um, I've set that all up. You can see I've got like Haltech can gauge in the car. Yeah, it's just got a little turbo intercooler set up and it is 
brilliant. Yeah, that's like, awesome, It mate. just goes through stuff and doesn't give up. That's it refuses great. to give up. What about your kind of campy setup uh, stuff? Yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's a, a basic uh, solar rack. situation as well. I do, yes. I'm running dual battery. I've actually got a drawer fridge in the back that you can't see through the tent, but I've also got like a timber pull-out preparation area for cooking as well. So I've got 100, uh, 110 amp hours of lithium. Uh, sorry, not lithium. Um, I've got AGM. Lithium is what I need to put in there. Um, and that just has a CTEC controller that has this 120 watt solar panel on the roof. Yep. But the cool thing about this is because these cars have got a really small alternator, my charging system can offset the alternator while I'm driving. So I've got extra accessories in the vehicle. Yeah, it takes right. the load off the alternator and levels the batteries out. That's awesome, it's a mate. super clever, smart system. And again, not expensive. That's unreal. And it works. I think the thing that I love about these and, and certainly all the driving that I've been doing in yeah. my little Jimny is that you don't have to go through the ruts that everyone else has gone. You can literally, you don't have to be straddling that. You can literally yes. go to the side yes. and you can sneak through yeah. and you get a lot more access than you'd be able to, you, yeah. you know, in a bigger car like the Hilux. Suzuki tracks, today. that's a big thing about driving them. And, and the thing is too, with big cars going through these tracks, often you can't even go near them because of the, the width of that track. You have to take another option. Yeah. I just don't have the wheelbase. Yeah, okay. You know, this is like a 29 inch tire barely you know you guys standard a sort of 31s you know like there's a huge difference in clearance so when it comes to like modifications of yes. these like off-road cars your top three mods what would it, it can be specific to sierra or specific to four-wheel driving what right. would be your top three do you reckon S specific to sierra for me reduction gearing all day this just has the one liter transfer case in it so basically the smaller engine model so this will climb things um also winch 100 percent thing even if it's an atv winch it doesn't matter it's just going to get you out of trouble so you can go on your own um, and probably the last thing is the suspension again. These things, tyres are really important too, but they tend to just bounce over everything. Yeah. So if you had a set of highway trains, you're going to get a puncher, but you'll probably get over a lot of things some bigger vehicles won't. Yeah, and so, I think as well, like once you've got your kind of car set up, a lot of people overlook some of the stuff that just actually makes your camping more pleasant. Like having extra power, having a cold fridge, having shade, like it's really, really hot in Australia, right? So just simple things like that can really make your camping and off-road experience way better. So yeah. thanks for coming along with us all the time. Do you have any particular memories from either Key to the Sea or Key to the Mountain that stand out to you after following us around in our little truck in the chimney mate the one memory for me and it's something that i guess we didn't even get on camera just because of the situation we were in was climbing out of the pinnacle track and the heavens open we had this thunderstorm we're in i'm trying to spot two cars we're on the radio i'm slipping on the ground like there's bog holes everywhere that you didn't see that would have swallowed our cars up yeah, yeah. and yet we managed to get the key truck and the chimney with open diffs and little tires through this thing to finish what we had to do and it was one of the hardest tracks i've done yeah. in the hardest conditions and it all turned on us in 10 minutes and I think that's one like, of the things that's so hard to tell on screen. Yes. Anybody out there that's four-wheel driving and filming it with GoPros, it's really hard to translate yes. how extreme it looks sometimes. Elevation too. I mean, that is so hard to show. Yeah. And that was steep. I was struggling to stand on my feet. And yet, I still had to get all you boys through there and us out of there too. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, a lot of fun. Thank Mate, you again. Thanks awesome. for showing us your Mate. cars and thanks for coming with us all the time. Thank you. If you do want to check out these films, you can check out Key to the Sea and Key to the Mountain. Uh, there's links of them down below. And of course, our Hilux build and adventures. Uh, whenever things aren't working out, we can always call Isaac because he's one of these people that thanks, he knows a hundred things about a hundred different things and so just a very very handy guy to know so thank you man thanks, thanks for coming on with us thanks, bro. and uh yeah there's some more four-wheel drive right. adventures coming soon so keen so we'll see you so soon keen. thanks everybody uh see you ya. are checking out MCM TV 2 this is our second channel where all the extra off-roading and four-wheel driving stuff goes make sure you leave a comment below check the links below and see you next time on this channel or on the main mighty can't watch channel bye bye